Morning everyone. Today I'm at the bottom of uh, the Silverwood Lake Dam. I'm mainly here to document something kind of rare. And uh, in Southern California we've received pretty much an unprecedented amount of rain and snowpack this winter. Uh, in some communities like Wrightwood they've received over 100 inches of snow. And as a result, because the snow is starting to melt, the Mojave River is actually flowing. Now, most of the time, the Mojave River actually flows underground. So while you may not see water flowing at the surface, uh, it does flow underground and feed local aquifers out in the desert. So my goal for today's video is to actually explore up and down the Mojave River to not only document this rare event, to actually see where the flow ends. This bridge is a little bit downstream from the Silver Lake Dam. Back in the background over there, you can see a flood control structure, which is known as the Mojave River Dam, which uh, helps prevent excess flow from going downstream in the event of uh, flooding conditions. But the flow is still quite strong up here. And I have a feeling on the other side of that dam, you probably have the sluice gate. Alright, so I couldn't find another vantage point in uh, Victorville or Apple Valley, mainly because of traffic on all the bridges going over the river, but I pretty much followed uh, Route 66 North, and I'm currently in Hellendale, which is pretty much south of Barstow, but look at that flow. There's still a pretty strong channel in there, and I have seen uh, videos of people actually kayaking up and down this, so... You can see that kind of out there, there's still some like silting and a sandbar, but still, it's pretty amazing how much flow there is this far out. This is a, the Hinkley Road Bridge. As you can see, there are a lot of people over here. And on the other side of the bridge, there are actually kayakers. Still flowing pretty good. It's probably spread out a little bit, but I imagine there's probably a channel kind of eroded in the middle of the river there where the flow is faster. Pretty amazing then, like, literally for like the last two decades up to this point, it's usually been dry. Let's see if I can walk to the other side. Alright, I'm now in uh, Irmo on the uh, other side of Barstow, 
and the river, le river level certainly has diminished quite a bit. You can see that because of the mud flats, it was flowing a lot stronger on this side, but it's still trickling through. And you can see on the other side of the road that it's still pretty consistent. So it'll be interesting to see where it finally dries up or if it still manages to make its way all the way down here to Afton Canyon or not. I'm now on Mineola Road, which is a road that basically bisects between Yermo and Newberry Springs. And the road is actually technically closed because of flooding. But it's not crossing the road at the moment. But as you can see, it's extremely muddy. Look at all the rocks. Like you can tell that when this was raging, basically the basically the river just it all came downstream. So I've made it ultimately to one of my destinations, Afton Canyon, and as you can see the river is actually flowing here. Usually it's just a trickle, but uh, as you can see the runoff from the mountains has definitely made an impact on the stream level. Uh, after Mineola Road back by Newberry Springs I was concerned that maybe the water just kind of drained all into the aquifer, but it looks like it's still going downstream. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get out of here and go back up to Basin Road, which is the next exit off the 15. Because ultimately what happens is the Mojave River drains into the Soda Dry Lake. And I'm curious to see if it's still flowing on the other side of the canyon or if it actually seeps back underground. As you can see, there's still a lot of mud in the uh, stream bed, so it's pretty obvious that the water level is higher. Than like. It's actually been a long time since I've been over here in Afton Canyon, probably over 10 years, and uh, remarkably it's changed quite a bit. They used to have a problem with uh, invasive plant life uh, crowding out the stream bed, and it looks like maybe BLM actually cleaned up a lot of that. Because you, you used to not be able to walk through here. It was pretty much uh, it was pretty much obscured by like reeds and other invasive species. In fact, uh, I would say that Acton Canyon probably deserves its own video at some point, both uh, from a historical perspective and probably a camping video because it really is a unique and beautiful area. I would probably say it's the jewel of the Mojave Desert. But unfortunately over the years it's also become more popular so and usually as places like this become more popular then 
you know, more impacts and that becomes a problem. All right, so from Afton, I, uh, I traveled up uh, the 15 North a little bit further and I reached Basin Road and uh, gone down Basin Road and I'm actually at the Mojave River over here now. It's pretty remarkable because last time I've been out here, the river almost never flows beyond Afton Canyon, but yet here we are. It's it's flowing freely, and uh, it's not just a trickle either. It's it's pretty substantial. So I guess what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to double back towards the interstate, and uh, I think maybe the next exit is Zizix. So. I'll go down that way. That's actually towards uh, Soda Dry Lake, but I don't know if there's road a road to exactly access from there. I I don't think so. Like there's a there's like an old uh, spa resort down there that's now owned by the uh, University of California system, but uh, I don't know if I can go beyond that. So we'll have to we'll have to see but uh, this might be it. But still, I mean, it's just, that's amazing though, it really is. So I've made it to Soda Dry Lake, which is down Zizix Road, and it's difficult to tell, but there is a lot of moisture out here on the uh, salt flats. And it could also be because there are natural springs in the area, but I haven't been able to actually find where the Mojave River is actually dumping into this area. It could be that maybe it seeped back underground and that's why the, the dry lake is actually moist, but uh, yeah, it's hard to tell. It is uh, remarkably beautiful out here. I've never been, out, been down uh, Sizzix Road. I did drive all the way down towards the end. That's where the uh, Desert Research Center is, which is uh, run by, it's a joint operation between National Park Service and uh, the University of California system. Unfortunately, the uh, gate to the complex is locked, so I can't get in there to explore around, but that also has a unique history. There might be the p potential for doing a video for that in the future. All right, so thanks for joining me on this video. I hope you found it interesting, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.